Welcome back to Arise and Shine. I'm so excited to meet our next guest who has accomplished something seemingly impossible. She's climbed summits all over seven continents and reached the North and South Poles. Vanessa O'Brien has become the fastest woman in the world to finish the Explorer's Grand Slam in under a year. Welcome, Vanessa. I know you, you had a job in you. finance for several years and then you decided to start doing this in, what, 2009? How did, how did you get into it? Yeah, so, um, well, it, it was, uh, I guess, the cusp of 2009-10, and I was, um, I had left banking because we had the recession, mm -hmm. and I was looking for something goal-oriented, challenging, you know, something I could, you know, measure success by, something different uh, that would last two or three years. That's how long I thought the recession was going to take. <laughs> you judge me as an economist, but, um, and so what ended up happening was um, uh, I was sitting down at lunch, and a girlfriend said, what about Everest? <laughs> and I was like, oh, my God. Like, and of course, recession you goes down, you climb up. <laughs> Perfect. You know, of course, we laughed out loud. You'd have to. That's a ridiculous suggestion. <laughs> but it, it met all those criteria, measuring success, goal-oriented, all of that. So mm -hmm. I thought the only thing I don't know how to do is climb. So what does it take to physically prepare to be a climber? You know, it's, it's, uh, you do want um, good cardiovascular strength. Wow. Almost more, there's a lot of mental um, stamina. There's a lot of uh, physical. But the physical is very much around um, cardio. So um, if you're climbing, I like to climb stairs, and I live in a city, so I climb an office building. Mm -hmm. I just go up and down, you know, 900 <laughs> stairs over and over <laughs> wow. and over again. So and and I heard that you had to carry around a 50-pound tire to try to build endurance. So what's yeah. that about? Oh, that's it's brilliant. Um, <laughs> great training. Um, you want some resistance on that tire, so something like a beach or something like that's perfect. Um, what that does is builds endurance. So that's better for things like the poles, North Pole, South Pole. Oh, wow. um, uh, there are two two of those mountains, two of the eight thousand, or sorry, two of those um, seven summits that involve pulling sleds. So, so that's as a, perfect. As a woman in her forties, I'm in her, I'm in my forties. <laughs> How is it? Is it? Are we too old? Or what? what um, you know, you're inspiring. No, nope, so I want to hear about. I'll it. tell you, it's a great question. Um, the average age for uh, climbing these mountains is about fifty. Wow. Yes. Uh, yes. So you <laughs> could still awesome. do it. That's, you could still get that's there. That's really cool. Um, because the, uh, the the bigger peaks um, uh, above 26,000 feet, they, those are eight-week expeditions. Wow. So um, you have to train for them. You're there for a very long time to build those right. red blood cells into that thin atmosphere. And, you know, training is very much focused on cardio because where the air is limited, you have to, the brains and the lungs have to have that. Muscle will compete against that. So when you're at a certain age, does it, is it because of the focus maybe that we, that vacation we have that time, 40, right, vacation, too? right? No, yeah. you know, I think it's awareness. because you're, the, the, the age is um, where you could take two months off right. to go on an expedition. Right. So you, if you, at a certain age, you probably can delegate something in your career to somebody. And, you need to be um, able to finance it, I would assume. And you've got to finance it, so you've got to have a, a little bit of savings bank to, to do it on the expeditions. And they all vary in cost, but something like Everest still is around $75,000. Wow. Yeah. And I know you recently climbed um, one of the mountains in the Himalayas. Is yes. that right? Tell That's us right. About that. So two weeks, wow. was, two weeks ago was the eighth highest mountain in the world called Manaslu. Wow. Uh, it is in Nepal. Uh, in wow. fact, the 14... 8,000 meter peaks, peaks over 26,000 feet. They're all in the Himalayas, bordering Nepal, Tibet, and Pakistan. I have climbed four of the 14. Oh my gosh. So what expedition for you is the hardest? Um, I would say Everest, because it's, it's the highest. It's, it's still uh, challenging. I know there's some controversy, you know, whether li you know, fixed lines are put in and stuff, but wow. you know, you're 29,035 feet, uh, planes fly at 30, 35,000. It's, it's challenging. And we're seeing some great pictures of you actually Yay, climbing those mountains, which is so neat. Um, I know we had heard that you sing a song when you're climbing to stay focused. What, what, what is that? Okay, so that's a, that's a little bit uh, of a funny story, but it's, it, I only sang it once, and it was on Everest, <laughs> and it was um, when I was re really feeling like uh, I wanted to turn around. Mm -hmm. So I had had uh, this negative voice come in and say, you're higher than you've ever been, you don't need to prove anything to anyone. Um, you're knackered, you're tired, my water bottles all froze. It was 45 mile an hour winds, minus wow. 45 temperature. And no I thought, <laughs> I just, I, I want to turn around. This is awful. It's more than I bargained for. It was so steep. 
And then out of the blue, uh, 99 bottles of beer came into my head, which was... <laughs> That's actually, you know what? That's a great one. I know. I never knowingly sung that song, but what <laughs> right. was great is that it made me count. Yes. Right. And it's a long song. Right. I mean, it right. takes Absolutely. a long time to get through 99 to 1 right. with the paragraphs and... So it next worked. time you should start on a thousand bottles of beer <laughs> right. on the wall. So what did, what did your husband think of all this? Um, you know what? He's British. He's, he's uh, kind of stoic. <laughs> he's got that st uh, stiff upper lip. He doesn't ever really get too riled or, or worried or anything like that. So, but he does like the odd phone call when it's over to say, "Hey, mission accomplished. Still you know, alive. We're, we're good." Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's helpful. Important. So for someone like you who's traveled so much and done so many things, I mean, what's the next challenge? How do you even figure out where you want to go next? Um, yeah, you know, there is there is a sort of a mountaineer's mountain um, oh. that's the second highest K2, and it, they had such a great season this year, um, 40, 45 summits, something like this, and, um, you know, I think next year there'll be quite a lot of people that, that give that a go. I, I, I would love to try it, but I'd have to train for a good six months before I did. Wow. You're incredible. You're yeah. absolutely, thank you so much for Thank you. Us. Yes. No, it was great yep. fun. Thank you very much. And when we return...